Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner Canna Campbell. Today we are joined again by the beautiful Susie <laughs> and we're talking about cheap snacks. Now you guys absolutely loved our previous videos on YouTube and on IGTV about like how to eat healthily with a, you know, budget friendly and with a balanced nutrition also but also real, tasty food taste doesn't food. have to be boring just because it's budget friendly and might i add and this is why i love you so much and all the content you create is every, all the ingredients you use are real ingredients i don't need to go to five different health food stores to find your ingredients and also i don't go off to the supermarket with a long list of ingredients to have to buy it's really quick it's really simple and you're a real mother with five-year-old twins, you know, you're in the thick of it, like, you know what you're talking about and, and you get it. All right, so today we are talking about healthy snacks. Now, snacks, I'm a snacker, I, I could snack all day. I'm like a Labrador, I don't get full, I just <laughs> eat, I will keep eating until I literally explode. My dream meal is just canapes all night long, um, you know, rather than sitting down actually having a meal, so that's something for me to work on. But Susie is just full of so many great snacking ideas. I follow her on Instagram, which I highly recommend everyone else do, because what you put up is actually, as you say, budget friendly, nutritious, real, and it kids, your kids are gonna eat it and they're gonna enjoy it. They're not gonna throw it away and waste it. So today we're gonna to share with you our favorite budget friendly snacks. Well, snacks are so popular. If I put a post up on snacking, it goes bananas. So really? even though often we're trying to encourage people to eat less, yeah. we can't forget about healthy snacks. And I really do try and make sure that the snacks are based on mainstream supermarket products. Right. Because we all know you can go to the cheaper supermarkets. Yes. But I don't want people to have to do that. I want them to have to do it from what they've already got in their cupboard okay. or just pick up in their normal grocery store. So mm. some of my go-to favorites that serve both for snacks but also kids' treats at times, a lot of us will have yogurt. Yep. We're using it for our breakfast and we're often buying it in individual um, packets. Which is such a huge waste from an environmental perspective. And, and yeah. it's not cost effective. Yeah. You know, the big ones, you can get high protein, you can get yeah. Greek, you can get no added sugar, mm. and I can get whatever's on sale. Yeah. Um, and if you team that with any of your frozen berries, mm. and we've spoken about this, if you've got excess of berries that are fresh, you can always package them and freeze them, yeah. or buy them relatively cheap at supermarkets. And all you need to do is just team them. We've just popped in here some um, of the yogurt, the berries, a little bit of granola. Yeah. You could also add some nuts to it some seeds if you had that at home or chocolate chips for the kids yeah delicious or if you want to get super organized and make them up and freeze them yeah you've got a much cheaper much more nutritious alternative to ice creams that you would buy from the store because mm. the kids often say can I have an ice cream after dinner they're three four dollars each oh, whereas so this expensive. you know you're looking at less than a dollar per serve and it's just mm. as delicious and much more nutritious and it's zero waste and I will link the product in the video description box where I got these from and also well, obviously, this is for perfect when you're at home, if you're, say, watching a movie or doing some work on your laptop. This is great to have because it's, it's glass. But for people who are, like, with kids or need snacks to go and throw into their bag, these are, this is actually my daughter's, um, I guess, snack container. It's it's silicon, so it's, you can't smash it. It just has a twist top. So using the kids, um, but, you know, the baby uh, food containers are actually a fantastic way of... And they're good portions, too. Exactly. So that's why it's more yeah. through the day. If you want a little light snack morning mm. tea, they work really well at work. Literally, I could just pour that into here, put the lid on, and throw it into the handbag. Yeah. Um, my other, <laughs> my other go-to is utilizing crackers or bread that we've yeah. got at home. Now, we'll all tend to have that, even if it's in the freezer. Mm. And we often throw out half a packet because they go a bit stale. stale. So this is a good way to use, to utilize it across many meals. All right, my, my frugal hack for that is keep them in the freezer. So oh. keep your keep your chips, you know, your potato chips, when you open them up and don't eat the whole packet, put it in the freezer. They're actually crunchier as that well. That is cheeky. I've never heard that Yeah, before. it's great. And it's they great. obviously try it. They're crunchier. Mm. Um, and you less so much less wasted, really. And also, often if we leave them in the pantry, little moths get in, which yep. is disgusting. And then you have to throw the whole packet out. And you spill it, like, and then they go through the pantry. Oh, so yep. that is a great idea. Okay, so, yes. um, so these are a couple of cracker options. And all I've done is got a whole brain cracker, team it with some nut spread. I often buy the nut spread when it's half mm. price. So again, really cost-effective bananas or whichever fruit is in season you could absolutely do that with blueberries you could do it with pears and it's delicious and yep. kids like it we like it it's filling it's tasty or the other option is I've done it with some English muffins but mm. here because you might have English muffins for breakfast you might be using them for healthy pizzas yeah. and again you don't always use the whole lot yeah so making I've teamed it with ricotta you could do it with cottage cheese you could do it with goat's cheese you could do it yeah. with light filly which mm. whatever you have you don't have to go and buy a whole lot of stuff no. look what you have and look how you can utilize mm. it I've added some pear and I bought the pears in the odd 
mix, so they were only $3 for the massive bag of pears. Everyone should be buying the odd bunch. It is so much more, it's important for the farmers that we support the non-perfect fruit. I mean, it's just madness. It's, and it's so cheap. Like I buy all my carrots as the odd bunch. It's like tomatoes, a dollar. Yes, it's tomatoes, apples. apples. The kids like tomatoes. So everything, avocados. So, and the good thing about that kind of fruit, it lasts a really long time, time as well. Right? So it doesn't it's go to value. Value. So I've just sliced some pear on the top. I've stuck some more granola, but we could do nuts. We yeah. could do seeds. Again, if you were really hungry, late afternoon and had that it would stop you on the rice crackers and the chips and all yeah. the other things that we get really really ravenous oh, yeah. for late afternoon what, a hack I actually learned from you is and it was about portion control and looking at the sizes I really make a conscious effort if I'm having something like this as a snack at home I slice my bread quite thinly you know in cafes they, they slice it really thickly it's like double the, the calories so if I'm doing this, I will, and I don't have to say crackers at home, I'll slice the bread thinly, throw it in the toaster so it's, it's quite strong and thick and can hold the, you know, the, the cheese or the fruit or whatever might be on top. And I'm cutting down my calorie content. And also the bread obviously lasts a lot longer because it's been used more. And one of my delicious snacks is I love ricotta with um, banana, sliced banana and a sprinkling of honey and cinnamon on top. That is for, a, if I have a sugar craving, it hits the spot perfectly. The cinnamon, which we often have, mm. and also vanilla, are a great way to sweeten things with no calories. Ah. So they work really well in any okay. type of baking or any snack. So if you could put that in the yogurt as well, that would Ooh, work really okay. well. And the other thing, I do like to bake a little bit, and sometimes we are, you know, craving banana bread or a muffin. So or having a <laughs> having something at home can work really well. And again, with ingredients that we tend to have on hand, bag of oats. Always get the original oats, they're about a dollar for a massive bag. So cheap. <laughs> Store them correctly so you don't end up wasting them, but you know, they're a must have ingredient for baking. You can mash it then with some banana, some of the nut spread, a little bit of wholemeal flour, maybe some butter, and bake it for like 10, 15 minutes, mm. and it makes the most divine, crunchy, nutritious cookies. Oh, yeah. So if you want something with a cup of tea, and they will keep for ages mm. in an airtight container, and you can also freeze them. So you make a big batch, you can use them for school or have your morning teas for a couple of weeks. It's really, really cost effective. In fact, that's something that kids could probably help you make. And I find and that when I get that. my kids, especially Rocco, like he's a fussy eater. If he has helped make something, he's more inclined to actually eat it. 100% and they yeah. love that. And you can always throw the chopped chips in there if you've got any. Or yeah. if you've got any leftover chocolate after a celebration, you can always melt it down and drip it through or grate Ooh. it. So then again, you're not wasting or not overeating chocolate the way you would yeah. at home if it was just in the pantry. You're using it in another um, recipe to make a whole batch of ingredients, which is really great. So if everyone's interested in these recipes and these instructions, make sure you're following Susie on Instagram, which I will link in the video description box below. All right, my three snacks are, I'm time poor, I'm running out the door, it's very easy for me to make up excuses. Um, just grabbing a handful of berries, um, and I bought two uh, chocolate-coated macadamia nuts from the sauce. Um, they're not, they're, they're not. They're amazing. They're oh, amazing. They're, oh, they're not frugal though. That's why I've only got two, because it's portion of control, but they are so sweet, they hit the spot. You would actually feel sick if you ate more than two, and I could probably even eat only one. And I, I, I'm, a, I I'm a sugar addict. And it's like milk and white chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. Delicious. Delicious. It's and really crunchy. So, you know, berries also take the edge off, and obviously they're low in sugar, is that right? They are. They're very high in water content, very high in fiber, really high in antioxidants. So I don't count them as food in any of my clients' meal plans. So a great okay, addition, good. and particularly when they're in season, or at times you can take the kids um, fruit picking yep. and get a whole lot, and then you can, again, freeze it or freeze. make jam, which yeah. is fun. Freeze, freeze it with your time capsule. It's a great way of saving money. Now, this is literally my, my snacks for today at the office. Um, I've got a handful of nuts and soy chips, which I've just thrown in. I don't need to fill it to the top because I'm exercising portion control. I've got some sliced up cucumbers um, and some carrots. And I've got some dip, really simple. This is just sour cream, avocado, and salsa mixed in together. You can switch this for any other dips, you know, but like hummus as well. Cottage cheese, yeah, ricotta. Everything. Because ricotta, if you mix it with a little bit of honey and some sultanas, if you've got Ooh. that, is a really sweet thing for the kids. Yeah, delicious. And, and if you've noticed, adults love these. I'm so jealous of this. I have to yeah. go and buy one. Yeah. But kids love small things cut up as well. Yeah. It, They're much more likely to eat the eat, veggies. Yeah. If I, and also taking the skin off, like if I if I peel an apple, I know I'm probably getting rid of most of the fiber, but at least I'm getting something green into Rocco. If I peel the, the, the cucumber, peel the carrot, peel the apple, and then slice it into like a hand food, he will eat it. Whereas if I just throw it as, a, as it is, he's completely turned off eating it. And I will add, this, this was not, this tin, this bento box is from the sauce. Wasn't um, cheap, but I'll tell you what, it is, it is, I've broken even with it and made money because I just, I, if I snack, 
healthily. I'm not going to go and buy a muffin or a coffee or a cookie or some which banana five, bread. Which is $5 dollars each. It's so expensive. At least. And I can't just order one. I have to get everyone else some. And it comes with this band so I can quickly put a spoon attached to it. It sits in my bag, doesn't spill. And I'm also reducing uh, waste. Because and you I'm could really... easily put yogurt in there as well, actually. Oh, I do. I put yeah. I do yogurt with berries mm -hmm. and then granola. And I, I can think of it doesn't get soggy during the day because mm -hmm. I can separate it. Mm -hmm. So just this has been a fantastic investment for me. And then my third item for when I am really running out the door, I am really late. And that's my perfect excuse to say, look, I'll just grab something on the way. I'll pull over and grab something from a cafe. And it is easy to spend 20 It adds up to $20 quite easily, $18. Grab an apple. Grab some almond butter. In fact, I actually now have an almond a bottle, a jar of this in the fridge at the office. And when I get to the office, I can slice it up and spread almond butter on top of the apple, which is sliced, and it is so delicious. And it's really filling. And it's so frugal. And it, like a jar like this will last me probably four months. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's good. yeah. Um, I think because the other thing that happens is you just grab a fruit on the run and it's nutritious, but it's all carbohydrate. You don't get any protein. Mm. So a golden rule of thumb for the snacking is always eat carbohydrate and protein together. So the beautiful thing about a yogurt or a 100% nut spread is that you're getting that protein. So it will keep you full and satisfied all afternoon and a little bit of a sweet um, craving is satisfied too from the fruit. Yeah. But the other thing I would say is also check out the 100% chocolate spreads you can get, which come from with oh. cacao, because that is great for the kids if they love something chocolate and get mm. used to that no added sugar variety of cacao, which is mixed with the different yeah. um, nuts. Mm. That's a really good product as well. So you just want something that's 100% nuts. And you know what I love about your account is um, on Instagram is you actually compare different brands. So you'll say, look, here are four different products. Um, well, four products are the same but different companies. And you actually break down the nutritional value. And you have changed the way I shop. Like the other day, I was at Harris Farm and I bought the smaller the mini hot mini buns. Hot buns. <laughs> and it's it like, but you're right. Like, and I was like looking at the pack, going, wow, this makes sense. Like I feel so much more informed and I'm, I'm, I'm buying better. I'm seeing less wastage and it's. Um, you know, my, my bills are probably the same, but I, there's just less waste and we're eating all the food and we're eating healthier, which is then the, the benefits flow on financially from there. Well, I find you don't pick up the foods on the run like you're talking yeah. about. You're mm. not grabbing the ice cream away from the home, which is yeah. three or four dollars a pop. Oh, yeah. You're not getting the muffin. Or when you've got the staples at home, you're less likely to pick up the Uber Eats or order something in because you're feeling really hungry and craving, yeah. but you don't have any of that supply around. All right, so there you have everyone. We've shared with you seven frugal, highly nutritious, budget-friendly, delicious. delicious snacks. So I want to see some more savings in your investment account, in your retirement account, and in your savings account, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you are subscribed. And of course, I will link all of Susie's details below. Ciao for now.